to see what do the numbers say and work with the numbers because they tell the truth. That is the co-president of the Charleston Area Justice Ministry reacting to how the Charleston Police Department is working to decrease racial disparities in policing. The department says it's made big changes in their policies to collect more data, allow them to better monitor the officer's activity. Our Molly McBride joins us live outside of police headquarters. And Molly, where does this all stem from? Well, Ralph, CPD hired a third party to do a racial bias audit of the department in 2019. Over 70 suggestions came from that audit, some of them pushing the department to collect and track more data. So it really is about getting more data and getting data that we can link across systems so we can have a fuller picture of our impact. Director of Procedural Justice for the department, Jill Idson, says the department now requires officers to complete a field contact card each time they make a stop. Police officials say before this policy change, they had general instructions to do this, but the audit showed that each supervisor interpreted those instructions differently. Idson says officers are also now required to report more detailed information when they use force. That allows for more focused, more targeted analysis of the types of uh, forces that were used on which people. And body camera video. The department now keeps this video for 400 days. Before the audit, it was just kept for two weeks. That ensures that any complaints that come in after that two week period, there will be um, resources that the Internal Affairs Office would be able to review. Leaders of the Charleston Area Justice Ministry, or CAJUM, say they think these policies will help data collection moving forward, but they're still interested in data from before and during the audit as well. How can we measure impact if we don't have the original marker? When asked about the challenges CPD faced producing data that CAJUM asked for. We're relying upon systems that were built for a certain purpose and as uh, Changes evolve over time in terms of the questions that communities and policing in general, the field wants to ask. A lot of the times the systems don't keep up with the questions. Benton says after some back and forth on timing, Cajun and CPD have scheduled a community forum to review that data on September 18th. The time and location of that forum has not yet been decided. Reporting live in downtown Charleston, Molly McBride, Live 5 News.